Hello everyone, so in this video I will guide you as to how you have to uh, submit your answer scripts in our programming that is for CS1B and CS2 paper B. So we have to submit the uh, answers in our word file. Uh, this is a, our uh, studio as you all can see. I have a script, I have a set of solutions over here so i will just run these codes and i will show you all how you have to submit your answers in the word file so the very first thing is obviously to run the lines of code over here uh, so you have to run these lines of code i'll just run the lines and whatever you see with the hashtags are maybe the solutions of the final answers and or it may be uh, the question numbers. So there are two options which you have which I'll come to when I'll just run these lines of code. So I'm running the second question. Okay. <clears throat> so once I've run the entire thing, I have the entire output in my console. Okay. So I have the entire output on my console. So now in your word file, you have to paste everything which comes in your console, right? So what we have to do, we have to select the entire thing. You can select it using control A as well. So I select the entire thing and you just copy, copy or you can use the shortcut control C and you move to your word. This is my word file, right click and paste as text, right? Paste as text. And this is how you paste your entire solution on your word file this is the solution for one question which has different parts obviously so you just have to do this but also remember to paste this chart which has come up which this graph which we have also created so this graph i have created for question number 2a so for 2a i have created this chart so i will i should paste this chart below the answer 2a so how should I paste the chart? You have to click on this export over here. Then you have an option of copy to clipboard. Click on copy to clipboard. And then we have an option of copy plot. So you can click on copy plot from here. Go to your word file and then move to question 2a. So wherever the question 2a is, you can just paste your plot there. Right? Um... So my question 2a is over here where I've created this density plot. So I will just paste my plot over here. So this is my plot which I have pasted below the question number. So this is how you paste your graph wherever in beneath, uh, beneath the respective question number. So always remember, for example, this plot was part of this question and question 2a right so you cannot paste this plot at the end obviously wherever you have written the code for that particular question below that code you have to paste this graph this is very important otherwise the graph will not be marked by the examiner so make sure that you also follow this particular thing that is one thing now i'll give you a few tips as to how you can increase your speed of copy pasting from uh, R to word. Okay. So for firstly, in your exam, you will have four to five questions. What you have to do is for each question, create a script over here. So each question should have its own script. That is one thing. So for example, I do my entire question, question number one, uh, which has maybe four to five parts. I do it uh, all my uh, question, all, all, all the parts of question one from in this particular R script. Once I do this, when I'm writing the codes, I might, might get some error, might get some warning message. So you can ignore them for the time being. And when you get an error, obviously you correct your code of lines and then you get your proper answer, right? So once you have completed your question one and you are satisfied with your answers, what I will suggest you is you should, for example, I am doing my question two over here. Okay, I'll just copy paste it there. So for example, I've done my question number one over here. Now, once you have completed this particular question, question number one, then what you have to do all with all its past parts, what you can do is clear the console. 
why i am suggesting to clear the console is because you might have got some errors in between right so we don't want to copy paste the errors in our word file so i'll just click on this broom over here then again i will select the entire script and click on run when you again click on run you have the entire codes over here without any error because you have already rectified the errors now you can just go back on your console select the entire console and copy paste it within your word file this is one thing which you can follow so once you have completed question 2 once you have pasted uh, question 1 once you have pasted it in your word move to question number 2 right complete the entire question you might get some error just ignore them again click on the broomstick over here clear the console area and again execute the entire code of line this will give you entire question 2 you will run the entire question to over here without any errors now why is this uh why is this easier because see what will happen if you are running question 1 and then again question 2 beneath that if you if you just go back and select if you just go back and select everything it will it might confuse you as to where your question 2 is stopping and where your question 1 ends and where your question 2 starts right so it might get a little bit confusing in the exam time frame so it's always better to clear the entire console run the entire question 1 again and then copy paste the console area into your word always do not forget to paste your graph beneath the question number specified question number which question this particular graph belongs to that is very very important okay so this is how you will construct your entire word file so if you have five questions you will be having five questions over here so for example this is my answer number 1 so you have to write answer 1 over here also many of you ask me that we have comments especially in cs2b uh, we have a lot of comments to write can we write it directly in the word file definitely for example over here we have this is this my this is the part um, of question this is question number again this is a question number 2 question number 2 right so if i have question 3 as well for example so i will write question 3 and i will write the entire comment over here okay i will give my entire comment over here i can just straight away type within the word if you don't want to type it in your r programming it's completely fine because obviously it's a comment it's not lines of code which you have to run so you can type your four mark six mark comments that you get in, as your last question second last question you can type it directly in your word file and obviously then you save your word file right you you save according to whatever uh file name you have to save which i have covered in my another video and you can then submit this particular word file always remember it's the word file in which you have to submit your paper b cs1b and cs2b not your r scripts now why again it's important to create different scripts because if i am creating different scripts over here i know that this script contains question 1 so if i had any error or if i had any if i wasn't getting any particular part of question 1 i can straight away come to this particular script and i can just go through those parts if you have one script for example over here we have one script with different questions it becomes confusing if i ask you to for search for question number 2 part 3 then you it will take a lot of time to search for question number 2 part 3 but when i know that question number 2 is in this script i can straight away go and search for it and it will take very less time so if you have five questions create five scripts do the entire question if you have any error no problem clear the console again select the entire sheet and run it so you have your entire question one ready copy paste it in word don't forget to copy paste your plots as well this is a very common mistake i have seen among students that they forget to paste the graph and they lose unnecessarily their codes are correct but just because they forget to paste the graph they unnecessarily lose those 3 to 2 to 3 marks whatever it is right so this is how you have to copy paste and submit your uh, answer scripts in your exams thank you